Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Gardener's Plot, What's New in the Garden. So today I want to transplant a few things out and about and stuff. So I just give the kids some dandelions that I picked up the woods. Going to town on those guys, aren't you? They're great for getting rid of dandelions. Yes, you can join those. So I've got various seeds, aubergines, cucumbers and broccoli and things that I want to transplant out. Um, so that's what today is going to be about. Oh, well, I remember um, ACS channel done a video on what signs do you have in the garden? Or what's your favourite sign? So I like a good mug, so Queen of the Garden. And my other favourite sign, I don't know if anyone has noticed it, is Moustache Makes the Garden. Moustache Makes the Man. And I think I actually have got a double moustache today. It's getting a little bit too long, so a little bit of a play with it earlier. And the moustache. Anyway, um, let's get on with transplanting these guys out. I'll try and bring the camera over. These guys I'm going to put straight out into the bed. So I've already prepped the bed. It's got nice dolphin force manure and compost and everything. So I'm going to put those straight out. Peas, I need to put in a bucket as well. Well, put not in the bucket, put them somewhere. And I need to try and figure out where I'm going to put all these little babies as well. Right. We'll do those last. I'll move those. I'll put you on top of your cake, Teddy. For the time being. And then let's try and sort these out. These guys as well. So that's the sprouts. That's green marble sprouts. So they've all got starting to get their true leaves now. So those I need to put into something else as well. A bit bigger. Same with the broccoli as well. Lots of little roots on the bottom. Um, and as the brassicas, I can, although they've got a little bit leggy, we can submerge those a little bit. And then we'll crack on with these. So I'll bring the camera over and we'll have a look. All right, see you in a second. Right, time to get these little babies sorted. There's the mug if you couldn't see it before. Um, right, so we've got some little tomato, um, not tomatoes, the cucumbers are coming up, although we've got random something else, so I don't know if something fell in there while I was doing them, so what we'll do is we'll transplant them out and see what happens and see what it grows into. Um, so I'm still going to use these little... Um, I'm still going to use these little cardboard ones because I find them a lot easier. At least that way I can just plot them straight into the ground or where I'm putting them. So I've. You know what I'm doing. If you're a newbie or and you haven't quite started growing yet, there are a lot better videos out there um for transplanting and stuff like that a good channel to check out on tutorials on how to plant out and that is alternative small holding with jazz and real can you stop squabbling over there um yeah she does amazing tutorials is really calm and serene and really informative so you never want to grab the stem of the plant I've just managed to get a nice root ball. Pop you in there. So you've got your own little space to grow. See? And just top him back up. There we go. That's my little baba done. Um, I'll just do the rest while I'm here. Mm. Don't worry, I won't make you sit through this entire thing. Oh, what I'll do is I'll probably do a little bit of a time lapse in a minute. Or, well, you've all seen how 
plants that were transplanted and stuff like that, haven't you? So, get another little one there. Let's always make a little hole as well, so it's got something easier to go into. And a bit more soil on top of here. There we go. And these were cucumber. That's all that's on the sign, on the pot. So it could have been one of those packets that I had no label on. Just finishing off these, and then we'll crack on with the tomatoes. Get those potted out. So variety, tomatoes wise, variety, what I'm doing there so I can go through them. Um, I did do a video of what seeds I was sowing for, so this would have been February. So we've got some tumblers. Um, what else we got? Oh, we've got some aubergines to transplant as well, so that's jackpot. And Clara aubergines. So get those out. And then what else? We've got striped orange green tomatoes. What else? We've got Victoria tomatoes. Tigerella. Black opal tomatoes. And what else? Big Daddy. And then we've got our two sweet peas. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. So roll. Get this last little cucumber out. Oh, look at the little root. Babies. Right. I'm going to finish this up and pop them all on. And I will get back to you in, well, video wise, second. Me personally, be about 20 minutes. Right, I'll see you in a second. All right, that's all the babies potted up individual now so we have aubergines up here so we got three clara impossible girl um some jackpots aubergines and then we got our three cucumber and then the rest is tomatoes <laughs> so what i've done is i've put it up any spares so those i will give away and these, I'll try and find them for in Gardner's plot. So we've got a good few varieties. So we've got um, black opal, orange and green striped, tigerella, big daddy, victory, and tumbling tomatoes. So these are all tumblers, and so I want quite a few of those. And I've sort of kept two or three of all the rest. There you go. And I need to go sort those out. All right, see you in a second. So the onions were in this spot here originally, so I've just moved them now, so they're a bit more established over into my um, little plot space, if you like. And then I've put all the broccoli and sprouts in these. So as the plants get bigger, I can add more compost which should help support their stems. So, here we go. That's those done as well. So that's a little spray. And that's the box, which is rab. And those were green marble. Hopefully they should do it right here. The onions seem to like this spot. You get a nice bit of sun in this spot here. And um, there is a pain missing above, so they should get a bit of water in as well. So, more like harden them up to go outside. This is my hardening up space. There you go. Done. All right, that's the peas popped in. So this soil's got really good um, high moisture content. So they should like it here. Nice little sunny spot as well. I've made the spuds in here as well, along with the onions, which I seem to be doing all right. All right, let's go do the broad beans. That's the broad beans in as well. So there is, a, I need to do a little bit more weeding on this bed, but see the horse manure is rot starting to decompose and everything. So it's really good soil. 
rooms everywhere. So this part of the garden does get sun come afternoon. So they should do it right here. And then I'll also plant runner beans along here as well, sweet corn and squashes. So hopefully that will help support each other. I've got stuff there to build framework for them. So at the moment they're happy there. Well, hopefully they'll be happy there. And then I can build more structural support as they get bigger. That's the plan. Right, done. Right, that's it for this week's episode. I did just get Teddy out, but he was slightly a little bit too aggressive and he's bitten my thumb a little bit too deep. We actually broke the skin. So as the season does progress, he gets a little bit more intense with his grip and it was starting to hurt a little bit, a little bit too much. So I tried um, and then he got a little bit too excited and went a bit too hard. So yes, naughty little Teddy. Um, I'll see how he is next week, but if he starts getting a bit too intense, um, he may have to stay in his cage and just be over my shoulder. So, little naughty teddy. Um, so, right, that's it for this episode. Um, that's how I've transplanted my plants out. They're the seedlings. Um, hopefully, they'll be fine. If not, put a comment in and tell me what I've done wrong. And if I've done wrong, I'll try and rectify it. But this is what I've done. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jazz. You know what to do. Did you catch me on this finger as well? Oh, you little swine. Sorry, excuse the language. Um, right. I'm off because I think I might need a plaster because it's starting to get a little bit more flow to it. Alright. I'll see you all next week. Toodle pit. see him right over my shoulder not a happy are we right kill the pip guys <laughs>